Hello techies In this session we will learn how to upload a local file to SharePoint by using create file action as part of SharePoint actions Let me drag and drop create file action onto the workspace In the previous tutorial we have learned how to create connection reference by using power automate Now in this session we will learn how to work with create file action By using create file action we can upload a file to a SharePoint site from the local First of all we will see the parameters for create file The first parameter is that site address folder path file name and file content where we'll get all these parameters from the SharePoint Let me go back to Power Automate and there you can see I'm having apps launcher on the left hand side of the Power Automate I'm going to click on that and then from here I'm going to navigate to SharePoint let's click on the SharePoint which it will navigates to SharePoint online Now as a first step I'm going to create a site for the Power Automate desktop I'm going to click on create site and then I'm going to choose the type of the site I would like to create it is for the team sites or for the communication sites I'm going to give team sites which is a which creates a private site to collaborate with my team I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to give the site name as Power Automate desktop tutorials and then this site is available right now there you can see i will get https colon double slash and after that you will get your website that is sharepoint.com slash sites slash power automate desktop tutorials now this uh, site address is available and then i'm going to give the site description as tutorials and then i'm going to select the language as english and then i'm going to click on finish now a new site has been created with the name of power automate desktop tutorials inside my sharepoint all right now if you see under that i am having documents where i am going to work with power automate desktop sharepoint actions let me click on the documents now in this power automate desktop tutorials inside my sharepoint inside my shared documents i can upload the files i can delete the files and also i can update the documents all right so for the time being what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new folder by clicking on new i'm going to select new folder and then i'm going to give the folder name as pad nothing but power automate desktop and then i'm going to click on create now a new folder has created successfully inside my power automate desktop tutorial site inside my shared documents i am having the folder with the name of pad now inside my power automate desktop folder i need to upload a document or any excel file i need to upload that how can i go ahead and do that by using create file sharepoint action i can upload the documents inside my shared documents folder which is available in the sharepoint sites now i want to give the sharepoint sites over here there you can see i am having my organization name dot sharepoint.com/site/powerautomate-desktop-tutorials is the site name this is the site name all right now i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to provide inside this site address so i'm going to give it as https colon double slash organization name dot sharepoint dot com slash sites slash the site name which we have created right now i have created power automate desktop tutorials and the folder path i need to give it where i have created that folder with the name of power automate desktop inside my shared documents i have created with a pad right now let me go back to my sharepoint actions and then i'm going to give the same path as shared documents slash power automate desktop is the folder name right now 
I want to upload any one of the document into this folder path which is available on the site address. Let me go back to local path where I am having employee. In my local, in my D local for local disk, in my training folder, I am having employee.xlsx file. I need to upload this file into the SharePoint. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the same employee.xlsx file with the file name. That is, I will give it as employee.xlsx. And the main parameter is there is the file content. This file content will be given in the binary format. So we cannot give it directly this file content. Right now, I'm going to keep it as blank. Anyhow, we will get an error. Let me click on save. Now, if you observe, I got an error saying that file content cannot be empty. And the file content will accept only binary format of the particular file. How can we go ahead and convert the file into binary? There, we are having one of the action called convert file to binary. Now, by using convert file to binary data, we can convert any file into binary data format. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace before create file action. Let me drag and drop this action. Now, to convert a file to binary data, I need to provide the file path over here. And then I will store the data inside my binary data variable produce. Now I'm going back to my folder where I'm having the file with the employee.xlsx file. I'm going to take the path by clicking on shift and right click. And then I'm going to copy as path. And then I'm going to provide the file path over here inside the convert file to binary data action. And I'm going to remove the double quotes. And then the output will be stored inside my binary data after converting the file into binary data format. Let me click on save. Once the file conversion has been completed to binary data, it will be stored inside the binary data variable. That binary data I'm going to use inside the create file content, create file action. Let me double click on that. Now, this file content only supports binary over here. So that I'm going to select the variables and then I'm going to select the flow variable that is binary data. Now, let's click on save. Now, if you see over here, the errors got fixed for the file content. Now, if you go back to the SharePoint once again, in my Power Automate desktop tutorial site, I'm having shared documents. Inside that, I'm having a folder with the name of Power Automate desktop, that is PAD. And then if you see, I don't have any files inside this folder. Once I will run this desktop flow, a new file will be uploaded inside the SharePoint, that is Power Automate desktop tutorials, inside the Power Automate desktop folder. All right, we'll see that. Let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run. Flow execution started. There you can see it is trying, trying to convert the file into binary data format by using convert file to binary data action. Once it has been converted successfully, then what it will do, it will upload the file into the SharePoint site, into the particular folder by using create file SharePoint actions. Now the flow has executed successfully. Now, if you go back to the SharePoint site inside my Power Automate desktop tutorials website, now let me go ahead, let me refresh it once again. Now, if you see over here, a new file with the name of employee.xlsx has uploaded successfully. And you can see modified about a minute ago and modified by the particular owner, right? Now, this is how we are going to upload a file by using create file SharePoint action. Now, if you go back to the desktop flow, there you can find I'm having a response over here as an output from the create file action. That is create file response. Let's double click on that. Now, if you see over here inside the create file response, I'm having different parameters in a such a way. One is item ID, ID, name, display name, path. 
there you can see the name i'm having employee.xlsx file as a return from the create file action and display name also both are the same and you can see the path over here that is shared document slash power automate desktop that is pad slash employee.xlsx file and you can see last modified it is on the particular day it has been modified and the size you can see that and media type that you can see it is the office document dot spreadsheet dot spreadsheet ml dot sheet and it is a folder no it is false because of this is not folders the given particular file it is a file over there in the excel format and you can see e tag file locator these are all the return parameters which we are going to get it from the create file action all right let me click on close i hope you understand how to upload a file to the sharepoint shared documents by using create file action as part of this tutorial